Hey Transformers fans, Lee Clay here with Lee's Moves and Collectibles. Um, so, a couple weeks ago we did a video for fun of a redeco of the new uh, Amazon exclusive Transformers Jackpot, which was a retool of the Studio 86 Jazz uh, Martini Porsche figure. Um, so, Hasbro released this weekend the new uh, Legacy series and one of the first uh, deluxe classes they released was the new drag strip figure and so this is about that one um, and before I uh, go into the redeco um, don't forget uh, I'm the owner of Lee's Moves and Collectibles on eBay and uh, we have the entire War for Cybertron trilogy series in stock as well as the Studio 86 figures and some Generation Selects uh, hobby only figures so if you love Transformers and there's anything you need, uh, please click the link below to my store and check it out and see if there's anything you need. All right, so back to the uh, design here. So when I was a kid, this figure would have come out, but I don't remember um, the Stunticons in uh, Toys R Us or Kmart or anything when I was a kid. So this, this must have just been one of the designs I just missed, or maybe it was super rare, but... Apparently what they were going for it with this design is the original G1 drag strip figure and this is an actual um, <clears throat> F1 race car It's a rare six-wheel model and uh, I was watching a, another podcast from Proto Man And he pointed that out and I was really glad to learn I, I learned a lot of good things on his pro podcast, but uh so this is an actual F1 race car model. It's a very rare one, uh, six wheels. And so they worked really hard, I can tell, to get that G1 design. And it looks really cool uh, and is really true to the G1 aesthetic. Um, but just for fun, if you really liked the Combiner Wars uh, uh, design like I did, I really liked that drag strip and I just missed it and now it's selling for like $80 and you can't get it. I just thought I'd do a, a mock-up of another another idea here. So this is another uh, mock-up what you could do um, with a little bit of magenta paint. So if you really really love the design or, or you just really uh, you don't prefer the original G1 paint job which is what they were going for and you just want to do something different and you like the Combiner Wars style colors with this model car this is an idea what you could do and I just uh, put a little bit of uh, magenta paint on it and uh, and it continued the red stripes down the middle and uh, yeah and here is a side-by-side -side comparison So there you go. So if you're looking for the G1 original design, you've got it and support Hasbro regardless and buy one. And if you uh, if you don't prefer those colors and you want to try to do a redeco or do something like the Combiner Wars colors, you can do something like the one on the right and just uh, and just uh, paint it and uh, mock it up however you like. Um, but either way, support Hasbro and buy one and do whatever is fun. And again, this is Lee Clay with Lee's Movies and Collectibles. And click on the link below if there's anything you're looking for, Transformers, Star Wars, or G.I. Joe-wise. And have a great day.